on the receiving end of rocket fire from Gaza such as this has been a frequent occurrence for people living in southern Israel. But the Iron Dome missile defense system has proven to be a game changer in stopping Hamas rocket fire from hitting civilian targets, especially over the eight days of Operation Pillar of Defense. Designed by Israeli company Rafael Advanced Defense Systems over the past seven years, each Iron Dome missile defense battery, such as the one here, costs $50 million, while individual counter-strike rockets cost in the neighborhood of $50,000. While the costs may be staggering, the pillar of defense operation in recent days, which was accompanied by more than 1,300 rockets, fired from Gaza, shows that the system has been a very worthwhile investment and can stand up to wartime pressures. The system was successful at shooting down nearly 90% of rockets it fired at during the recent eight days of escalated hostilities between Israel and Hamas. A total of 421 rockets, which is seen as an impressive result considering the system shot down its first Gaza rocket in only April of last year. The system also proved its malleability with a battery which was not due to come into operation until February, being fast-tracked into service around the Tel Aviv area, where it intercepted nearly a dozen missiles aimed at civilians in Israel's financial capital. The decision to create the system was made in the early 2000s, when in an eight-year period Hamas fired more than 4,000 rockets and 4,000 mortar bombs into Israel from Gaza. The system includes radar technology which plots incoming rockets' trajectories and launches interceptor missiles all within a matter of seconds. But one of its creators, speaking on the condition of anonymity, said it is not a complete solution to Israel's security security needs. Iron Dome is not meant to enable the state of Israel to stand back and, and say bring on, uh, br bring on the rockets. Iron Dome is meant to give Israel and Israeli leaders time. It's meant to intercept the first volley, the first days, the first weeks of volleys of, of rockets, but that will give us time to choose where we plan and how we plan to stop it, either via political, political means or via military means. Each battery can protect an area of up to 150 square kilometers, and its success has prompted interest from foreign buyers such as NATO and South Korea who are looking to improve their missile defenses using the Israeli system. The initial technology was developed entirely by Israel, but the U.S. contributed around $205 million to its expansion, while U.S. lawmakers are currently debating whether an additional $680 million will be provided for the system's development over the next three years. Judging by the Iron Dome's success in recent days, the U.S. may be more than willing to provide the funding after the system has been proven to be a highly potent first line of defense against indiscriminate rocket fire from Gaza militants aimed at Israeli civilians.